What's up everybody, Mr. Darkson here. We are back with another video. Sorry it took a little bit longer than the weekend to get back into the swing of things, but I've been busy and I'm probably going to be busy in the future. But anyways, today we are actually looking at a phone game called Boxing Stars, and I was on this game and I was looking at it and it's actually really fun, so you guys should play it and add me and friend me and clan up and stuff, but... I was searching for a skill set guide because there's skills in this game. I'll go to the skills right now. Uh, right there. Okay. So I wanted there was I wanted to have a guide that basically went into detail about all the skills and what they do and stuff. And I never really found it, so I decided to play it and research. And now I'm basically giving you guys this tutorial on it. So basically, what you have is the jab the hook, the uppercut, special, and then the stance. And let's talk about the stance first. Actually, no, let's talk about the moves. So jab. Jabs are like qu really quick attacks that are undodgeable. Like you can't evade against these attacks. But so basically to stop these attacks, you just, you basically block and stuff because these, these attacks come fast and quick and they're un basically unevadable. The hook is a little bit of a slower attack than the jab, but it's more powerful. Oh, also the jab is the weakest attack, so you won't get as much damage for it. The hook is the kind of mid-level for speed and mid-level for like power and stuff, so it is evadable. It's pretty easy to evade it actually, but it gets the second powerful attack, and then the last attack is the slowest one, but it deals the most amount of damage once you actually lay an attack, which is the uppercut. And then there's such thing, and then there's the special. We'll get into the special a little bit later. But anyways, let's go to the stance. So the stance, there's four different stances. There's a counter master stance. There is the stamina burner stance. There is the stunner hunter stance. And then there's the lucky puncher stance. Basically what happens is, the it's basically a game of like rock paper scissors basically the lucky hunt lucky puncher stance is good against the stunner hunter stance the stunner hunter is good against the stamina burner and the stamina burner is good against the counter master and then the counter master is good against the lucky puncher so basically it's whatever kind of stance you like and each stance so the counter master stance is basically once you if you counter so if you evade to this either side and then you lay an attack it deals more damage depending on how good of the attack you are so basically if you're really good at evading i'd recommend this one the stamina burner one is uh it also is pretty good i use this one but basically you have stamina in the game and if your stamina is above 70 percent which it usually is when you use uppercut because you're only using uppercut once you get the chance and stuff but once it's at 70%, you get like a bonus for like attack and stuff, an attack stamina bonus. The Stunner Hunter is basically if you attack an enemy multiple times and you stun him, the Stunner Hunter will do more damage when he's in that one state. And then the Lucky Puncher, it fight against Stunner Hunter stance, increased jab. I've this one I'm not actually a hundred percent sure. It basically I'm pretty sure it's just um I don't actually know this this lucky puncher one. I'm guessing it's just like a all around kind of like a, you get lucky and you deal damage and stuff. But those are the four stances. If you counter master stance and the stamina burner stance, I'd recommend using uppercut for the stunner hunter I recommend using like jab or hook and then the lucky puncher is basically uh whichever one you want but then once you choose your stance so I have the stamina burner stance and then I have the uppercut in the stamina burner attribute so I have all that so it's I basically do uppercuts so for special you have the rampant range rage which it basically increases all attacks like the jab the hook and the uppercut it's like an all-around kind of special the weaving interruption is basically for jabs so jabs will hit and it, it 
it, blah, blah, blah. it increases the chance, activation chance of, it, well, basically it stuns the person temporarily when jab hits if you're, like, evading. The hook is shocks foes and prevents foes from performing except for evading when hook hits. So this one's about hook. And then guard break is about uppercuts. So when you defend, you can uppercut and then you can break their guard, which is basically like a super attack. So I have that one chosen. So basically what I have is the the uppercut in the stamina burner with the um, guard break special attack. And what I kind of want to do because that's kind of all the like kind of tips and stuff you need um what i want to do is i want to get the stunner hunter stance rookie out so i can get so i can change my stance to any of these and then i also want to get uppercut um sidestep uppercut to max so i can get any of the uh, uppercut of the different stances and stuff so that i can like choose to always have the upper hand which is always good but yeah um that's pretty much it for all the skills and stuff i hope i went into good detail about all of them and i hope this video helps you choose what you want so basically if you're a fast fighter then jabs are good if you like power over um quickness uppercut and then hook is just like the in the middle kind of like whatever special I don't wouldn't worry about for the first start and then make sure the stance and so I have this down burner stance with the stamina burner uppercut like make sure that you have it all like the same and don't switch don't have like one green one and then have a blue stance and then have a purple hook like don't keep it all the same color except for special special doesn't really matter but yeah, so depending on the type of player you are is the type of builds you should make. I am a powerhouse kind of one with a lot of stamina, so uh, that's basically my skill. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you like this video. I'm really sorry that I haven't posted, and I'm really sorry that I probably won't be posting that much in the next coming week and a half, week. But, yeah, and if you guys do think this oh, this game looks fun and entertaining, give it a try and add me. My, um, my name is Mr. Dawkinson on it, of course. So, yeah, send me a friend request and I'll add you and we'll help each other out and get, get up. And who knows, maybe if it, it hits off, I might make a clan and stuff and we might be, might be able to all join in a clan. But, yeah, guys, um... If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more uh, videos, subscribe for more. And if you do want to see more of this uh, Boxing Stars video game, then leave a comment saying you'd like to see more. I just basically wanted to make this one-off video. But if you guys do want to see more, leave a comment. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Check. I need to check like one, two, or two, or one. I confess, I'm the best. Against the wall, time to aim for the ceiling. Numb to the pain, the only way to heal it is to call the wrecking ball. Change the frame, change the, the build, 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 build. My brain is the weapon I'm concerned.